stars who brought home gold for Team USA yesterday. One is the reigning NBA sixth man of the year. The other is a three-time NBA scoring champion and set the U.S. single Olympics record for points. Please welcome from the Oklahoma City Thunder and Team USA, James Harden. We are really proud of you guys. Thank you so much for doing this. This is awesome. Are you, are you guys still, are you still partying? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where you are? You're in, you're in New York. <laughs> yeah, I figured that out when I landed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just got in this morning, right? Yeah. It yeah, was morning. wild. I got a picture of you guys celebrating last night with, every, with the team. Everyone gets a bottle. There you go right there. Uh, where is this? Like, somebody's... Are you, in, are you in a bus, or where are you guys? That's on the team bus after the game. Right after the game. It's one of those bus parties. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that's like, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, let me, can I, and here's, I got another photo of you, James. Uh, I gotta say, I'm a, a huge fan of, uh, of you, James, as well, but just because you. you do crazy things, you were dancing around with this crazy <laughs> thing. Look, what is that? <laughs> you know what? what? I don't even know. I just saw the bear, and I grabbed it, and then just <laughs> ran around with it. <laughs> I don't even know. Wait, just in the moment, you just grab the stuffed animal right, right. and start dancing around with it. Just having fun. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Uh, can I see? Can I see the medal? Can I? Can yeah, I hold it? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you can take his. <laughs> wow, it is heavy. It is unbelievable. Look at this thing. I just want to hold it for a second. Have you, have you not stopped holding it or wearing it since you won? Nah. You just love it. That's probably the first time I put it down. Oh, really? That was it. So we made history right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, I got a story. Uh, why do people bite the medals? Do you have to bite your medal? That's a good question, man. I just did it. <laughs> you just bit it with a bit? I've seen it. I, I watch the other sports and I've seen people do it, so. Was <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like the right thing to do, man? Yeah, of course. So you just started just eating, so everyone just, do, do they, they were just biting the metal, just yeah. to make sure it's real? Yeah, it tastes like metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chocolate, it's, 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 it's a gold metal. I would have been upset if it was chocolate. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, the fourth quarter, were you worried at all going in? Because you only were in the lead by one, right? Mm -hmm. Going into the fourth okay, quarter, man. it was close. Yeah, I was worried. Yeah, but oh. <laughs> You guys are so jet-lagged, you have no idea where you are. You're like, yeah, okay, I was worried. Did you freak out? Did you, what to, happened? To be honest, you know, you got 12 of the best players in the world. So, you know, you see on the court Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, you know, Chris Paul, Melo. At the end of the game, you don't have, a, you don't have, you know, worried, not worried at all, so. Oh, give me a break. You're such a <laughs> actor. That's, that's how I felt. That's how you that's felt, how yeah, felt. right? Well, Come on. me, on the other hand, I was a little nervous. <laughs> Don't let him know. Yeah, exactly, right? Because you're going in there, but how do you guys, do you guys all get along? Because this, that's the weird thing I find about this. In, during the NBA, you play against each other, right. and here you are on the same team. You don't know the, how do you learn the plays and stuff? Well, we respect each other um, throughout the season. Do we, you really, though? Yeah, we do. We do. We like each other. <laughs> Come we on. Like each other. I mean, a, a team, you have to be close. And we came together what, about a month and a half ago. People were doubting us, and we were too small. You know, we played against two of the biggest, you know, guys in the tournament last game. You know, Paul Gasol, Marcus Gasol. So, yeah. Um, people were saying we're too small. We couldn't come together quick enough as a team. But, but do you favor when you see James out there? Do you go, do you favor and wink at each other and go, yeah, I'm going to pass you the ball? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he I, said he said well. I was trying to pass him the ball. I wanted him to do well. But you know, like I said, it was all the team. No favoritism. It made it easier though, because you know, I think everybody on the team was so unselfish. You know, and willing passers. So they made the game easier, you know. But then, I mean? we, yeah. But when then Kobe plays Gasol with the, their teammates. Right. So yeah, they, but Kobe's like, he's a, he's a, he's like a beast. Like he don't, <laughs> care, like he don't care about anybody else. But he doesn't know, care. He just yeah, wants, he to wants to win. Right? So he really hated Powell, actually. Yeah, he yeah. just went. Yeah, just went for it. And yeah, we felt so. the same uh, about Serge Ibaka too. Yeah, so. So we, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you guys all live in like a dorm? <laughs> nah. Well, it, I, 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 I picture like a real world where you guys are all in like bunk beds or something. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, we stayed at a hotel. Like, the other athletes stayed at the village. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you, you, you chose to stay, though. You didn't even stay at the village. I wanted to stay at the village. You, you did? Yeah, I just wanted I to get the whole experience. You wanted the, the village people. 
Yeah, do you want to get this Yeah, YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, James. I like he's getting it now. Uh... But that's uh, so, yeah, so you stay at the hotel, and then and then where do you go? Do you go out to dinner? Do you no? You just have to play all all the time. We hang out. Uh... Do you, what do you do? Do you hang out? Or... We, we hang out. I think you know what makes it special. We hang out you know every single day, not you just do. after practice. We all hung out. Um, just spending a lot of time together. So good bonding. So you think it's going to be different next NBA uh, when you're playing the season? Are you going to, like, be pals with each other? No. no. On the court, it's different. <laughs> it's over. It's I over. I think the competitive fire is going to be, you know, inflamed a little bit more because we, we enjoy being around each other so much. And you always want to beat your friends. So, you know, we're going to have bragging rights. <laughs> bragging if we rights. beat the, the Knicks or the Nets or the Clippers, oh, we're going to talk a lot of trash throughout that whole season. So <laughs> uh, now, fun. what do you think of uh, Dwight Howard going to the Lakers? You don't care. Look at these guys. <laughs> oh, come on, well, that's major. The Lakers are getting a crazy team. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> I guess... I guess you're right. Uh, no, you're both, you're wearing the, you're both wearing these uh, gorgeous watches, I should say, by the way. Uh, by the way. Uh, but also, what's on the other... You're wearing the fuel band, the Nike fuel band, yeah. on the other thing. Yes, that's yes. not the fuel band. That's the fuel band. Now, you press the button, make it light up. Now, what are these, the fuel band? Like, I like these guys. I, the more you wear it, the yeah. more it tells you how much fuel you're using. Yeah, track your steps and calories, calories and, and, you know, so. If you're trying to lose some weight, you should get one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, these are pretty expensive. Yeah, but it's worth it. a gift. It's you have a gift? Yeah, we have gifts. You guys, everybody in the audience is getting a Nike fuel band.